The day we're taking a look at these NHL matches, which are happening on Wednesday, December 29, 2021, and giving you match breakdowns, betting tips and predictions in general on these games. Welcome back to High Stakes, let's get straight into it, also, don't forget to subscribe to get notified as soon as we release these sport prediction videos, and if you would like more betting tips and predictions, then check out our Patreon in the link down below. Our new Patreon is a way for us to help you improve your chances of making more money. Five plans are available for each and every one of you, you can get 30 extra betting picks all the way up to 500 extra betting picks per month. Stop wasting hours of your time searching for bad betting advice that ends up costing you a lot of money. Join the high stakes Patreon now and get the best betting picks and advice. New Jersey Devils vs Buffalo Sabres The Sabres are having a season to forget and hope the offense can step up, scoring only 2.67 goals per game. Dylan Cozens, Jeff Skinner, and Tage Thompson have combined for 27 goals and 23 assists to lead the top two forward lines, but the rest of the offense has struggled. Only five forwards have six goals or more, and opposing defenses can eliminate the Sabres' struggling offense. The Devils have lost six straight games and six of their last seven road games. They've struggled offensively, scoring more than two goals in a game only once in their last six games. They are also one of the worst teams when it comes to killing penalties and will have a hard time scoring against the Sabres, who gave up more than two goals only twice in their last six games. Buffalo played well in recent games, especially on the offensive end, with the team scoring nine goals in their last three games. Our first betting advice is to pick Buffalo Sabres. Buffalo is averaging 2.67 goals per game. They scored two goals on 21 shots in their last game. Zambis Gurgensons and Rasmus Dahlin scored a goal apiece for the Sabres, while Kyle Poso and Rasmus Asplund picked up an assist. Buffalo has also struggled defensively, giving up 3.43 goals per game. They gave up three goals in their last game and will need a better effort if they want to get the win. New Jersey is averaging 2.7 goals per game. They scored two goals on 19 shots in their last game. The Devils weren't playing well when the season was temporarily suspended and come into this game on a six-game losing streak. They also struggled on the road and they've lost their last six games away from home. They will try to put an end to both streaks with a win over the Sabres, which will give them their third straight win over Buffalo. Jan Kuakinen and Nathan Bastian scored a goal apiece for the Devils, while Dougie Hamilton, Pavel Zaka, and Ty Smith picked up an assist. New Jersey has struggled defensively, giving up 3.37 goals per game. They gave up three goals in their last game and will need to do a better job if they want to win this game. Our second betting advice is to pick over 5.5. Rangers vs Florida Panthers. The Rangers are off to a strong start to the season but hope the offense can step up, scoring only 2.83 goals per game. Chris Kreider has 18 goals and 8 assists, while Artemi Panarin and Mika Zibanejad have combined for 16 goals and 42 assists, but the rest of the forward unit has struggled. Only 7 skaters have 6 goals or more, while only 3 skaters have 7 goals or more, allowing opponents to eliminate the top heavy offense as a result. The Rangers have lost 3 of their last 4 games, but they've been playing well on the road, winning 5 of their last 6 road games. They've done a good job defensively, giving up more than 2 goals only once in their last 6 road games. They've also played well on special teams and are 6th in the league when it comes to penalty killing. Even though the Panthers play well offensively, they struggle during their slump, scoring only 5 goals in their last 3 games and will have a hard time scoring against the Rangers. Florida is one of the best defensive teams in the league, but they haven't played well on the defensive end in recent games, giving up 15 goals in their last 3 games. The Panthers are off to a great start to the season with their offense leading the way, scoring 3.55 goals per game. Jonathan Huberdeau and Alexander Barkov have combined for 20 goals and 31 assists to lead the top line, but the rest of the offense has stepped up as well. Sam Reinhardt, Anthony Duclair, and Sam Bennett have combined for 27 goals and 27 assists, while Aaron Eckblad and Brandon Monter have added 12 goals and 24 assists from the point to open up the Panthers' offense. Our first betting advice is to pick New York Rangers. Florida is averaging 3.50 goals per game. They scored one goal on 42 shots in their last game. Matt Kirsted scored the lone goal for the Panthers, while Sam Reinhardt and Jonathan Huberdeau picked up an assist. Florida has played well defensively, giving up 2.89 goals per game. They gave up four goals in their last game and will need a significantly better performance if they want to win this game. New York is averaging 2.83 goals per game. They scored two goals on 29 shots in their last game. Chris Kreider and Mika Zibanejad had a goal and an assist for the Rangers, while Kander Miller and Ryan Strom picked up an assist. New York has also played well defensively, giving up 2.53 goals per game. 
they gave up three goals in their last game and will need to play better if they want to get the win. Mackenzie Wieger and Aaron Ekblad have combined for 4.1 defensive point shares and 91 blocked shots, while Radko Gudas and Gustav Forsling have combined for 2.3 defensive point shares and 73 blocked shots to give the Panthers two great defensive pairings. Additionally, Sergei Bobrovsky has been great as the starting goaltender, with a .917 save percentage and a 2.47 goals against average on 532 shots. Our second betting advice is to pick under 6. Nashville Predators vs Washington Capitals The Predators are off to a strong start to the season, but hope the offense can step up, scoring only 2.93 goals per game. Matt Yushen and Philip Forsberg have combined for 26 goals and 21 assists to lead the top line, but the rest of the offense has struggled. Only four forwards have scored six goals or more, and opposing defenses can eliminate the top heavy forward unit as a result. Both teams are going to have to deal with shaking off the rust, and they hope to have more personnel than they had in their previous contest. Nashville has had Washington's number in recent years, but the Capitals are still a dangerous offensive team led by Alex Ovechkin. The Predators are a middle-of-the-road team offensively, and they have to find a way to slow down the Capitals. Nashville has been good on the road this season, posting a 10-5-1 mark, but Washington is a solid 9-3-4 on home ice this season. With the Capitals having better offensive weaponry, the Capitals are off to a great start to the season, led by an offense that is scoring 3.42 goals per game. Alexander Ovechkin has 22 goals and 25 assists, while Levgeny Kuznetsov and Tom Wilson have added 18 goals and 36 assists to the top line, but the rest of the forward unit has stepped up as well. Conor Sheary, Garnet Hathaway, and Lars Eller have combined for 19 goals and 20 assists, while defensemen Dmitry Orlov and John Carlson have added 10 goals and 30 assists from the point to put the offense over the top. Our first betting advice is to pick Washington Capitals. Against the Kings, the Capitals were undermanned, and it ended up costing them as the Kings rallied late to pick up a road victory. Washington held a 14-5 edge in shots on goal in the opening period and took a 1-0 advantage to the dressing room after 20 minutes of play. Connor McMichael opened the scoring with his fourth of the year at 7.58 off an assist from Joe Snively. In the second period, the Capitals held an 11-9 shot advantage with both teams scoring once, leaving the hosts with a 2-1 lead at the second intermission. Justin Schultz made it a 2-0 game with his second of the year at 13:47 off assists from Conor Sheary and Garnet Hathaway. The Capitals gave up a goal later in the period to see their lead halved. In the third period, the shots were even at 10, but Washington was outscored 2-0 to end up with the defeat. Vitek Vanasek made 21 saves for the Capitals, who held a 35-24 edge in shots on goal in the loss. Ilya Samsonov is expected to get the start and goal for this contest. Against Chicago, Nashville did enough despite playing the second game of a back-to-back -back situation to get a victory. The Predators held a 9-6 edge in shots on goal in the opening period, but skated off with the game even at 1 after 20 minutes of play. Thomas Novak opened the scoring with his first of the year, on the power play, at 11.56 off assists from Alexander Carrier and Luke Kunin. They gave up the equalizer just over two minutes later in the period. In the second period, the Predators held a 15-6 edge in shots on goal with neither team scoring, leaving the game even at the second intermission. The third period saw Nashville outshot 7-6, with both teams scoring once to leave the game even at 2 at the end of regulation. Colton Sisson scored his fourth of the year on the power play at 11.33 off assists from Philip Forsberg and Ely Tolvanen to give the Predators a 2-1 lead. They gave up the equalizer just over two minutes later again to send the game to overtime. In the extra session, Nashville had the only shot on goal and it found the back of the net for the win. Tanner Genet scored his eighth of the season off an assist from Roman Josie at the 58-second mark for the victory. Ju Saros made 17 saves for the Predators, who held a 31-19 edge in shots on goal in the victory. He is expected to get the start and goal again here. Our second betting advice is to pick under 5.5.